just rolling out those legs, rolling them out after the 21 miles yesterday. Yes, in the Audios Fours, I did 21, and they the legs are feeling they're feeling pretty good. I must say, no major soreness and no aches and pains. So this is a good sign for the Audios Fours. But I want to do one more test run today, just to make sure I'm really dialed into how the shoes are reacting to my cadence and my gait cycle and my foot strike especially, because we talked a lot about that in my first impression video. Upper right hand corner from, gosh, I don't know, six weeks ago now? I don't even know, maybe a month ago, I don't know. But I think after today's run, I will have put, my guess is 75 miles into the shoe, so we're definitely ready for the full review. And uh, let's rock and roll, oh yeah. Keyword boost, that's right, keyword boost for the Adidas Ultra Boost foam they got going on inside that midsole. Let's roll. And we're back in the studio. All right, a solid run today. Solid 15 mile tempo run. If you want to see all this, the pacing and everything, you can go check it out on Strava. Uh, but immediately, what I think is frankly more important is the time right after the run and the next 24 hours, like the running is good, but in order to stay healthy and recover for the next run, it's I so imperative that you really hone in on that recovery process. So that's what I'm trying to do today with the Epsom salt bath and then stretching and rolling out on the floor inside the house. So anyway, it's good times. And all right, we're gonna get to this shoe in one second. First, tonight is a live stream. What I think is gonna have to happen is all of the emails and Instagram questions and Twitter and Strava, basically, this is just like in the last five days, this handful of questions right here. So what I'm realizing is unless I cut out all of my sleep, there is just no physical way for me to answer all of your questions. Therefore, what's gonna happen moving forward, and I will make a full video about this, is that I'm going to answer all of your questions live on Wednesday nights. So I'm gonna put them tonight into the Innovate box right here. That's right, thank you Innovate for this nice green, bright green box. Boom, there they go. So I think that's gonna have to be the strategy moving forward, just so you know. Okay. Moving on, here we go. The Adidas Adios, Audi Zero, Adios 4 full review. Actually, I don't even know how many miles. Let me look, uh, let me look on Strava real quick. Huh, that's awesome. Okay, 99 miles on the, on the nose. Not 100, not 98, 99 miles so far in the Adios 4s. That is pretty cool. Okay, remember we had the discussion about this shoe with World Marathon Records. Roll the tape. Hit pause. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Hit pause, hit pause, hit pause. Oh, yeah, baby. The Adidas. The Adidas. Based on the research that I've done and talking to some other running shoe geeks out there, the Audios set five, the Audios lineup set five world records in a row. And I'm not going to name off all the, and, and I, I will just say right now. It comes down to the athlete. That's right, this shoe is a, a favorite amongst elite marathon runners. Many world records have been set in this shoe at the marathon distance as far as the different iterations, the Audios 3, the Audios 2. Uh, so it's going to be really interesting as the Boston Marathon is, is right around the corner and then London and then uh, I guess through the summer but then moving into the fall marathons. It's just going to be interesting to watch what all the elite runners are wearing. Okay, let's move into a few specs real quick. A 10 millimeter drop or offset. I like to call it a drop, but basically it's a 27 millimeter stack height in the heel and 17 in the forefoot. So that's the 10 right there. And then just so you know, we are gonna make some running shoe battle videos very soon. Compared to the Vaporfly 4%, you've got a 31 millimeter stack height in the 4% and a 21 in the forefoot. So 31 in the heel, 21 in the forefoot. So it's both, both are 10 millimeter drops, but just different stack heights uh, in both shoes. And moving on to the weight, so 7.09 ounces in the Audios 4. And just to do another quick comparison, 7.05 ounces in the Hoka Carbon Rocket. Essentially, 
the exact same weight between these two shoes. Pretty fascinating Carbon Rocket Audio Sport. Okay, so there you go on the weight, and that is in my size. For a size 9, I think they're advertising it at basically 8 ounces. And moving on to the positives about the Audios 4, I said it four weeks ago, five weeks ago when I first put the shoe on, and so I'm just gonna roll that same tape. And then the next positive on the first run in the Adidas Audi Zero Audios 4, the lockdown. Guys, it was one of the best lockdown feels I have felt in a shoe in a long, long time. Enough said, lockdown feel, amazing. Okay, ground contact. The continental rubber is treating me really, really well. This is the second positive for the shoe. I am getting a really, really nice ground contact feel to the point where I think I said in the previous video, the first impressions, I feel like I'm in control of the shoe and the shoe is not in control of me. I think it's the combination of being a little lower to the ground because the stack height is a little lower. And then again, that lockdown feel through the upper. And one last positive, the shoe is coming across as fairly snappy. It's not the snappiest shoe. And what do I mean by snappy? Basically, uh, it's just like it sounds. Like when, if you're bending a stick and you're bending a stick and then it snaps, that's a snap. So like the shoe, as it's going through the gait cycle, you want to get just that little snap action, little snap action. And I think this, this bridge through the midfoot is causing a little bit of that snappiness. Um, so I am appreciative of that. Uh, Adidas, I can feel the snap just a little bit. It's not, again, it's not the snappiest shoe I've ever worn, but I can feel it uh, through my gait cycle, through my foot strike. Thank you. And moving on to a couple drawbacks about the Audios 4. We'll start with the upper. I think that this upper could be simplified and I'm not feeling a ton of breathability, if you know what I mean. It's, and maybe maybe because it's a little more built up uh, through the upper that I am getting that nice lockdown feel, which was a positive. But at the same time, I could foresee in a very on a very warm day, and especially since the shoe is black, that your feet could get pretty warm. Like, I'm just not feeling breathability through the upper. So that's a little bit, I get, I just strip it down a little bit, and this will be a great, great upper. Uh, and then one last uh, drawback, and it's a pretty it's a pretty major one. My legs are feeling tired. Today I went 15 miles in the tempo run, but I have taken the shoe up to, I well, yesterday I guess I went 21. My legs are feeling a little tired around like 16, 17 miles. And uh, that's obviously to be expected. Like you're gonna get tired, but I have a feeling that if they bumped up the stack height just a little bit throughout the midsole, but still somehow figured out a way to keep the weight down, maybe it's reducing some of the, uh, the buildup on the upper, I don't know, I, I think the midsole could just use a teeny tiny little bit more of cushion, especially if you're gonna be racing in the shoe for 26.2 miles. So again, that's just a little bit of a drawback. Uh, and then, okay, one last thing, I'm just beginning to notice some wear and tear on the outsole at 99 miles. Nothing to like, nothing crazy, but I am seeing it on the outside here of this, uh, of the outsole through the through the harder black rubber, the continental rubber. So um, anyway, just keeping that in mind. And moving on to that price tag, $140. Good job, Adidas. Remember, $160 for the Carbon Rocket. Not too bullish on that price point for the Carbon Rocket. Pretty darn bullish, okay? I would pull the trigger at $140 for the Audios 4. I really would. Uh, yeah, thank you Adidas for creating a marathon shoe, and I guess I'll just mention that right now. Uh, you, this is definitely a marathon shoe. Certainly, a, you could do a half marathon. I would lean away for the 10K. I think there's lighter options out there for you for the 10K, but uh, for the for the marathon especially, I think this guy will do the ticket, uh, do the trick, I should say. And um, but $140, if you're like if you're gearing up for a big marathon race, but you know you're on a little bit of a budget. Heck yeah, let's do this. This guy could be your winner, winner, chicken dinner. And in conclusion, what are my final thoughts about the Adidas Audios 4? Is it a marathon shoe? Yes. Will it be my marathon shoe? Most likely not. Why? Again, I think they can strip down. The biggest thing is I think they can strip down this upper and reduce the weight of the shoe. I really do. We're sitting at seven ounces right now. And I know like 
we're, 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 we're splitting hairs a little bit when we're talking about weights of shoes, but if you think about it, like if you're taking however many steps you take in a half marathon or a marathon, that weight on the bottom of your feet, it does, I believe it does make a difference. It might be a slight difference, but it does make a difference. So um, I like the shoe. I don't love the shoe. If I had to put a, a score on it, I would put it in the... Oh, I put it in the 7 out of 10 category. I almost want to say 7.5, but I think I'd go 7 out of 10 uh, for the Audios 4. So a solid shoe. I'm enjoying it for training. I think, uh, again, you know my theory behind the carbon fiber plate shoes that Hoka is coming out and Nike. Uh, this is my thesis that if you can train in this, you can race in anything, if you know what I mean. And that keyword again is boost for the Adidas Audi Zero Audios 4 and the question of the day. Have you ever even considered ground contact feel in a running shoe? And I know we're really, really drilling down here, but frankly, up until maybe two or three years ago, that, that, uh, that terminology wasn't even really on my radar. Like ground contact feel, can you feel the earth, the pavement, the concrete, can you feel the ground below your feet so that you're re and today I was really trying to focus on where is my uh, where is my foot strike happening in this shoe and I was really trying to get right about there right but right where the toes connect to the the main the main part of your foot uh, so anyway that's the question of the day have you ever thought about ground ground contact feel and have you what is like what is the shoe that you like to grab for with respect to feeling the ground because this shoe frankly is high up on my list if you're looking for a shoe where you really feel like you are you're one with the ground like you're you're there and you're you're digging you're just digging through that gate cycle making that pace happen chasing down PRs. All right, that is it for tonight. Thank you ladies and gentlemen for being here. It's going to be a great live stream tonight. Holy guac. Uh Molly, make sure you go check it out if you have an upper right hand corner. All oh, good times in the studio. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. Woo! See you tomorrow.